A pleasant morning everyone and welcome to our section in science through radio-based instruction, especially to all grade 8 students who are listening to us right now on Radios at Home and joining with us on our Facebook Live. I am your radio teacher, Mr. Eliezer M. Rebukas from Monte Vista National High School and with me is Mom Sushmeta Dayanara M. Relampagos from Andap National High School. We are here, happy to serve you for 45 minutes of bringing you with fun and exciting lessons in Science Grade A. So, what are you waiting for? Sit back, relax, and join us as we explore the world discovering the development of typhoons and how it is affected by landforms and bodies of water. We are now on the fourth module for the second quarter in Science Grade 8, and we hope that you are still enjoying by taking down notes on different concepts here in Audubly and seen through online. Once again, we are here to bring with you another lessons in science, and we hope you had already prepared your pens, record notebooks, and modules, and be sure that you already ate your lunch as we go through our discussion. So, are you ready for today's lesson? Yeah! That's good to know. And now, let's do this. We are now on a new topic for the second quarter in Science Grade 8. But before we will start and introduce to you our topic this morning, let us first have a quick icebreaker of the previous ideas and information you have learned based from your previous experiences. In grade 7, you have learned concepts that help you understand about why the wind blows. The wind is caused by differences in atmospheric pressure. When a difference in atmospheric pressure exists, air moves from the higher to the lower pressure area, resulting in winds of various speeds. Another concept is why monsoons occur. The primary cause of monsoons is the difference between annual temperature trends over land and sea. The apparent position of the sun with reference to the earth oscillates from the Tropic of Cancer to the Tropic of Capricorn. Lastly, what is Intertropical Convergence Zone or ITCZ? The Intertropical Convergence Zone, or ITCZ, is the region that circles the Earth near the equator where the trade of winds of the northern and southern hemispheres come together. All of these are associated with understanding the concepts of typhoon. In this lesson, we begin by asking, how do landforms and bodies of water affect typhoon? Let's recall some of the unforgettable events or scenarios when a natural phenomenon strikes, like typhoon. Did you still remember or can you recall how many typhoons entered Philippines for the past few years? Or can you recall some of the strongest typhoons that the countries experienced previously? Here are some of the strongest recorded typhoons entered the Philippines one of which is Typhoon Haiyan in 2013. In the Philippines, it is called Super Typhoon Yolanda. Super Typhoon Yolanda had 10-minute sustained wind speeds of 230 km per hour and 1-minute sustained wind speeds of up to 315 km per hour, causing widespread destruction and storm surge. The provinces of Samar and Leyte reported the largest number of fatalities with 5,877 alone taking place in Eastern Visayas. Below are some of the evidences captured after the typhoon strikes. Another is Super Typhoon 30. Super Typhoon 30 is the second most powerful typhoon in 2016 and considered as one of the most intense tropical cyclones on record, impacting the Batanes in the Philippines in September 2016, 
it became a super typhoon early on September 12, as it passed through the Luzon Strait, ultimately reaching its peak intensity on September 13, 2016, with one minute sustained wind speed of 300 km per hour. Shortly afterwards, it passed directly over the island of Itbayat. Lastly, the Super Typhoon Rolly in 2020. It was an extremely powerful tropical cyclone that made landfall as a Category 5 equivalent Super Typhoon of Catanduanes in the Philippines and became the strongest landfalling tropical cyclone on record. Rolly maintained Category 5 strength for over a day before making landfall on Catanduanes at peak intensity with 10 minute sustained winds of 220 km per hour and 1 minute sustained winds of 315 km per hour. There you have it, learners! Some of the recorded strongest typhoons entered the Philippines for the past few years. Now, this morning, we will be discussing new topic for the quarter, particularly understanding typhoon. Again, we will be discussing with you new topic for the quarter, particularly understanding typhoon. And we hope that at the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain how typhoon develops and how it is affected by landforms and bodies of water. Again, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to explain how typhoon develops and how it is affected by landforms and bodies of water. Are you ready for the discussion of the topic this morning? Hmm. But wait! For us to be guided also as to the topic this morning and to test your prior knowledge on today's lesson, let's answer first some exercise found in your module pages 2 to 3. Again, let's answer first some exercise found in your module, pages 2 to 3. And you are given 5 seconds to answer each of the 10 questions. Let us read the instruction first. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Again, choose the letter of the correct answer and write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Question number one. Where do typhoons form? Where do typhoons form? A. Lakes B. Ocean C. Rivers D. Streams Question number two. Which Weather disturbance develops in the Northwest Pacific Ocean. Which weather disturbance develops in the Northwest Pacific Ocean? A. Blizzard B. Tornado C. Tropical Cyclone D. Tsunami Question number 3. What is the other term for tropical cyclone? What is the other term for tropical cyclone? A. Earthquake B. Tsunami C. Typhoon D. Wildfire Question number 4. What public storm warning signal or PSWS has a wind speed of 160 km per hour? What public storm warning signal or PSWS has a wind speed of 160 km per hour? A. 1 B. 2 C. 3 D. 4 Question number 5 Where do typhoons that hit the Philippines mostly originate? Where do typhoons that hit the Philippines mostly originate? A. Pacific Ocean B. South China Sea C. Indian Ocean D. West Philippine Sea
Question number 6. What does ITCZ mean? What does ITCZ mean? A. Intertropical Convergence Zone B. Intratropical Converging Zone C. Intertropical Converging Zone D. Intertropical Convergence Zone Question number 7 Which tropical cyclone has a wind speed greater than 200 km per hour? Which tropical cyclone has a wind speed greater than 200 km per hour? A. Super Typhoon B. Typhoon C. Tropical Storm D. Tropical Depression Question number 8 How would you describe the condition within the typhoon's eye? How would you describe the condition within the typhoon's eye? A. Calm B. Intense C. Sunny D. Violent Question number 9 Which agency takes charge of giving information about incoming typhoon? Which agency takes charge of giving information about incoming typhoon? A. Department of Environment and Natural Resources or DENR B. Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology or FEVOX C. National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council or NDRRMC D. Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA Question number 10 What will you do if a typhoon will hit your place? What will you do if a typhoon will hit your place? A. Store bread and milk B. Hide in a room without windows C. Watch TV and share on Facebook. D. Leave the area and proceed to the evacuation center. And this time, we will now check your work. The following are the answers of the given pretest from 1 to 10. Let's check your answers. Number 1. Letter B. Number 2. Letter C. Number 3. Letter C. Number 4. Letter C. Number 5. Letter A. Number 6. Letter A. Number 7. Letter A. Number 8. Letter A. Number 9. Letter D. And number 10. We have letter D. Well done, learners! How are your scores, my dear students? Do not worry, because there are still more like this when we are going to tackle these things later on as we go through our discussion. For now, stay tuned in and just relax because after a short break, we will begin our discussion on the development of Typhoon and how it is affected by landforms and bodies of water. The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Archicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply, Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders. GP and H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated. I am back, learners. This time, 
we will discuss it with you the concepts of the typhoon's development and how it is affected by landforms and bodies of water. Earlier, we have presented it with you the three most powerful typhoons that strikes and ever landed in the Philippines. The following are Super Typhoon Yolanda, Super Typhoon Ferdy, and Super Typhoon Rolly. This type of phenomenon, considered as one of the most disastrous types of phenomenon, wherein it results to thousands loss of lives, infrastructure, businesses, crops, and even properties. But how this type of phenomenon develops or form? Being in the tropics, the Philippines is visited by typhoons almost every year. These typhoons are also referred to as, as tropical cyclones. Some of these typhoons leave minimal damages, but a number have already been listed in history as devastating. Not a single part of our country is exempted from these forces of nature. A typhoon is a type of large storm system having a circular or spiral system of violent winds, typically hundreds of kilometers or miles in diameter. Or, it is a system of thunderstorms moving in a circular direction. That is why, it is very important to have sufficient knowledge on tropical cyclones for our own benefits. According to Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA, there were 13 tropical cyclones that entered the Philippine Area of Responsibility or PAR in 2019. But why Philippines is prone to tropical cyclones? It is because of its geographical location, which generally produce heavy rains, flooding of large areas, strong winds, which results in heavy casualties to human life, and destructions to crops and even properties. But how tropical cyclone forms or develop? Cyclone forms when sea surface temperature is at least 26 degrees Celsius from the surface up to a depth of at least 50 meters. Again, cyclone forms when sea surface temperature is at least 26 degrees Celsius from the surface up to a depth of at least 50 meters. What are the things to consider in the formation of tropical cyclone? Here are some of the events on the formation of tropical cyclone. Tropical cyclone forms when there is humid, warm air forms over the warm ocean surface. Second, water vapor rises with warm air. Third, Water vapor rises, cools, and condenses, forming into clouds. Fourth, condensation releases heat into the air, and heat evaporates more water. Last, warm air keeps rising, and winds from the surrounding moves in. More so, Tropical cyclones are categorized based on their intensity and speed of rotating winds and clouds. The cyclones can intensify into tropical depression, tropical storm, severe tropical storm, typhoon, and super typhoon. As the winds strengthen or weaken, the category is upgraded or downgraded accordingly. Here is the classification of tropical cyclone with its corresponding wind speed. Tropical cyclones are categorized based on their intensity and speed on rotating winds and clouds. Tropical cyclone category Number 1 we have tropical depression with the maximum sustained winds in kilometer per hour up to 61 km per hour. Tropical storm 62 to 88 km per hour. Severe tropical storm 89 to 117 km per hour. Typhoon 118 to 220 km per hour. And Super Typhoon exceeding 220 km per hour. Consequently, the term typhoon is common in the northwestern part of the Pacific Ocean, while hurricane is common within the northeastern part of the Pacific Ocean and also in the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean. In the Philippines, we call all categories of tropical cyclone as Baguio. May it be a tropical depression, 
tropical storm, severe tropical storm, typhoon, or super typhoon. When a tropical cyclone enters the Philippine Area of Responsibility or PAR, the PAGASA will announce Public Storm Warning Signals or PSWS. The lifting or assigning of a public storm warning signals in a certain place usually happens before the corresponding atmospheric conditions exist over the locality. This is because the aim of the signal is to warn the people of the approaching danger that the tropical cyclone may bring. It is important also to remember that the appropriate interval of the range of the wind speeds for every signal is only valid when Pagasa puts the effect, the signal number, for the first time. Below are the definition of terms used in this concept. Here is the revised public storm warning signals from Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA. The revised public storm warning signals were categorized into five numerical indicators based on the time, wind speed in kilometer per hour, and impacts of the wind. Public storm warning signal number one, 36 hours, with a wind speed 30 to 60 km per hour. Impacts of the wind, no damage to very light damage. Public storm warning signal number 2, 24 hours lead time, 61 to 120 km per hour wind speed, light to moderate damage. Public storm warning signal number 3, 18 hours lead time, with wind speed 121 to 170 km per hour, moderate to heavy damage. Public storm warning signal number 4. 12 hours lead time, 171 to 220 km per hour wind speed, heavy to very heavy damage. And public storm warning signal number 5, 12 hours lead time, with more than 220 km per hour wind speed, very heavy to widespread damage. But what to do during the typhoon? And when authorities lifted a public storm warning signal announcement, here's the thing to consider when typhoon occurs. In public storm warning signal number one, listen to your radio for more information about weather disturbance. Check the ability of the house to withstand strong winds and strengthen it if necessary. The people are advised to monitor the latest severe weather bulletin issued by Bagasa every 6 hours. In the meantime, business may be carried out as usual, except when flood occurs. In public storm warning signal number 2, special attention should be given to the latest position, the direction and speed movement as the cyclone may intensify and move towards the locality. The general public, especially people traveling by sea and air, are cautioned to avoid unnecessary risks. Protect properties before signals are upgraded. Board up windows or put storm shutters in place and securely fasten it. Stay at home. MERSO In public storm warning signal number 3, keep your radio on and listen to the latest news about typhoon. Everybody is advised to stay in safe and strong houses. Evacuate from low-lying areas to higher grounds. Stay away from coasts and riverbanks. And watch out for the passage of the eye of the typhoon. For public storm warning signal number 4, stay in safe houses or evacuation centers. All travels and outdoor activities should be cancelled. Keep listening to your radio to the latest news about the typhoon. Moreover, in public storm warning signal number 5, everyone is tasked to stay in safe houses or evacuation centers. And lastly, all travels and outdoor activities should be cancelled. There you have it learners, the things to consider when typhoon occurs and when authorities raise up relevant announcement for security. Tropical cyclone is considered as one of the most destructive natural disasters that affects the lives of many people and causes tremendous loss of properties. 
We are done with the first lesson on the development of typhoon, and we hope that you learn the concepts of how typhoon forms or developed. Now, let's move on to how land forms and bodies of water affect typhoon. Now try to look at this example. We have there a blue colored portion representing the bodies of water and light brown represents the land. From the figure presented, where did the four tropical cyclone forms and end? As you observed, most of the tropical cyclone forms in the ocean or bodies of water. A tropical cyclone can only form over the oceans of the world except in the South Atlantic Ocean and Southeastern Pacific due to its lower air temperature. Ocean in the tropics and landforms in nearby countries can affect the formation of typhoons. The bodies of water help in the formation and development of a typhoon. In order for a typhoon to develop, it needs the abundance of warm water, high humidity, optimal location, ocean water with a temperature of 26.5 degrees Celsius, spanning from the surface up to the depth of at least 50 meters, and low vertical wind shear. Warm bodies of water are the main factors in the formation of a typhoon. Again, warm bodies of water are the main factors in the formation of a typhoon. The air in the bodies of water is warm due to the evaporation of water. This warm air builds up or increases the wind speed of a typhoon. Typhoon gains energy from warm ocean water and losses its overcold water. On the other hand, not just only bodies of water affect typhoon formation, but landforms also affect typhoon as an obstacle. Landforms affect wind direction, and therefore it disrupts the spin of a typhoon. Landforms like tall mountain ranges act as an obstacle to traveling air masses, forcing them to rise over the peaks. Typhoon weakens because of lack of water to supply the needed moisture in the air. When this happens, the air temperature drops. As the water vapor cools, fog forms, and rain may fall on the windward side of the mountain. A typhoon is likely to dissolve or decrease its wind speed when it passes over a mountain or a mountain range. Again, a typhoon is likely to dissolve or decrease its wind speed when it passes over a mountain or a mountain range. The cold air on top of a mountain prevents the building up of a typhoon, which needs warmer air. How about this moving example? What causes the spinning movement of a certain typhoon? Do you know that storms that forms north of the equator spins counterclockwise, and storms south of the equator spins clockwise? The spinning movement of a certain typhoon is because of the Earth's rotation on its axis. Again, the spinning movement of certain typhoon is because of the Earth's rotation on its axis. Well, that's all for today's great learners. We are finally done with our discussion, so I guess you are ready now to take the assessment part of this lesson. After the short break, kindly prepare any sheets of paper for our evaluation. Good luck and God bless. Stay tuned. The Radio Z Escuela program of the Division of Davao de Oro is being brought to you by Nueda Builders Construction and Supply Incorporated, Maverick Builders Incorporated, Mitch Construction and Supply, Arquicons Architectural Construction and Supply, DB Construction and Supply. Hanawai Builders Corporation, Phoenix Corvada Tagum Gasoline Station, Master Construction and Supplies, Mackenzie Builders, GP&H Construction Incorporated, Metro Gear Construction Corporation, NEN Builders and Development Services Corporation, Max Maze Enterprises Incorporated, We Inc. Construction Company, Rangai Construction and Supply, East Sussex Enterprise, WM Construction, Councillor Boogie and Miss Marjorie Vertodazo, Icon Builders and Supply, and Apex Mining Company Incorporated.
Now we are down to the last part of the session, the assessment. But before we proceed to the assessment proper, let's have a little summary of the concepts that was discussed a while ago. As we all know, a typhoon is a type of a large storm system having a circular or spiral system of violent winds, typically hundreds of kilometers or miles in diameter. It is a system of standard storm moving in a circular direction. Philippines is prone to tropical cyclone. It is because of its geographical location. Tropical cyclones are categorized based on their intensity and speed of rotating winds and clouds. The cyclones can intensify into tropical depression, tropical storm, severe tropical storm, typhoon, and super typhoon. Typhoon is common in the northwestern part of the Pacific Ocean, while hurricane is common within the northeastern part of the Pacific Ocean and also in the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean. We discuss also some of the acronym LIPAR, which means Philippine Area of Responsibility, PAGASA, Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration, PSWS, or Public Storm Warning Signals. When a tropical cyclone enters the PAR, the PAGASA will announce public storm warning signals. The lifting or assigning of public storm warning signals in a certain place usually happens before the corresponding atmospheric conditions exist over the locality. We also discussed different factors affecting the formation of a typhoon, and one of which is the bodies of water. Warm bodies of water are the main factors in the formation of a typhoon. On the other hand, a typhoon is likely to dissolve or decrease its wind speed when it passes over a mountain or a mountain range. Storms that form north of the equator spins counterclockwise, and storms south of the equator spins clockwise, and this is because of Earth's rotation on its axis. And now, it's assessment time, and may I request everyone to please prepare your pens and any sheet of paper for the evaluation. Your task will be, choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Again, choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Are you ready now to take the test? Question number one. What is the name of the tropical cyclone formed in the northwestern part of the Pacific Ocean? What is the name of the tropical cyclone formed in the northwestern part of the Pacific Ocean? A. Hurricane B. Tornado C. Tsunami D. Typhoon Question number two. In what year did Super Typhoon Yolanda hit the Philippines? In what year did Super Typhoon Yolanda hit the Philippines? A. 2011 B. 2012 C. 2013 D. 2014 Question number 3. In what direction does a tropical cyclone usually move? In what direction does a tropical cyclone usually move? A. Northeast. B. Northwest. C. Southeast. D. Southwest. Question number 4. What is the wind speed of severe tropical storm? What is the wind speed of severe tropical storm? A. 62 to 88 km per hour B. 89 to 117 km per hour C. 118 to 220 km per hour Or D. More than 220 km per hour 
Question number 5. During a typhoon, public storm warning signals or PSWS is issued over the affected area. What is the impact of the wind when PSWS signal is poor? During a typhoon, public storm warning signal or PSWS is issued over the affected area. What is the impact of the wind when PSWS signal is poor? A. No damage to light damage. B. Light to moderate damage. C. Moderate to heavy damage. Or D. Heavy to very heavy damage. Question number 6. What should be done after a typhoon? What should be done after a typhoon? A. Store sufficient amount of food. B. Always ready with the emergency kit. C. Keep monitoring the typhoon's movement. D. Boil water before drinking as it may be contaminated. Question number 7. Tropical cyclones are not formed on which part of the Pacific Ocean? Tropical cyclones are not formed on which part of the Pacific Ocean? A. Northeastern B. Northwestern C. Southeastern D. Southwestern Question number 8 what happens to a typhoon when it makes a landfall? What happens to a typhoon when it makes a landfall? A. Gets weaker. B. Stays longer. C. Gets stronger. D. Moves faster. Question number 9. How do landforms affect typhoon? How do landforms affect typhoon? A. No effect at all. B. Increase wind direction. C. Serves as a fuel to traveling air masses, making typhoon stronger. D. Serves as an obstacle for traveling air masses, making typhoon weaker. Question number 10. Which statement is incorrect? Which statement is incorrect? A. Warm bodies of ocean water are the main source in the formation of typhoon. B. Warm bodies of ocean water build up increasing the wind speed of typhoon. C. Air from surrounding areas with lower air pressure pushes to the high pressure area. D. Tropical cyclone does not form in the South Atlantic Ocean due to its lower temperature. Now this time, we will now check your work. The following are the answers of the given 10 questions from the assessment. For number 1, letter D. Number 2, letter C. Number 3, letter B. Number 4, letter B. Number 5, letter D. Number 6, letter D. Number 7, letter C. Number 8, letter A. Number 9, letter D. And number 10, letter C. Who among you got perfect? Very good! How about those students who got below the median? Good! Nothing to worry about. We still have plenty of assessment in the preceding topics. Once again, congratulations everyone! And we hope that you are able to explain and understand how Typhoon develops, how it is affected by landforms and bodies of water. Again, thank you so much for listening and see you on the next session through radio-based instruction. I am your radio teacher, Sir Eliezer M. Rebukas, from Monte Vista National High School. 
and Pam Susmita Dayanara M. Relampagos from Andap National High School for the class on the air in Science Grade 8. For those concepts which is not clear to you, you can put your comments, suggestions, and questions on our Facebook page. Once again, thank you so much. Rajas Escuela Executive Committee The School's Division Superintendent, Yofemia T. Gamutin Seso 5 Assistant School's Division Superintendent, Dr. Romel R. Handayan OIC Curriculum Implementation Division Chief, Karina S. Frasco School Governance and Operations Division Chief, Dr. Roben J. Riponte Members Cecilia Morales Dr. Hilda A. Opeña Dr. Arlene B. Lim, Dr. Eldicris B. Calzadora, Dr. Dexter A. Sikinia, Nohara O. Pinute, Noemi P. Canales, Dr. Grace D. Pontilias, Virgilito C. Pabrises, Juanito Lapiceros, Engineer Norberto S. Manlangit, Jomar M. Dumupoy, Bob Dalan S. Milabat, Medard T. Ampit, and Paz Eugenia Villusino. Technical Working Committee Productions and Communications Lori Lee E. Quijano Given G. Hinampas Judy Land D. U. Donna D. T. Bolifer Mary Rose N. Resma Riven Manuel Irene Lea C. Manguhon and Bessie Aya N. Banians Social Media and Packaging Team Christian Anhara L. Martesho William R. Ranara, Joan T. Iscoton, Roberto S. Acusar Jr., May B. Istanyol, Richard H. Arellano, Glee L. S. Blanco, Ralph A. Tabanyag, Angelo Gutierrez Jr., and Jade Karen Araiz.